What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And on today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we have a Tillotson 225cc racing engine build for you in store today. We're going to be putting it on our Trailmaster MB200 Ultimate Endurance Racing Mini Bike. This engine is going to make more than 17 horsepower. It's going on our bike that we're taking to Oregon for the Gambler 500 100, mini, 100 mile mini bike endurance race in May. It's a mouthful. In Oregon with Go Power Sports. It's going to be epic. We made third place on our class next, last, last year. year. And um, yeah, we're hoping to do better this year. So, what we have here is a Tillotson 225 race engine long block from GoPowerSports.com. They also sent us a flat slide 24 millimeter carburetor, a billet flywheel, some rockers, and a performance coil. All of these parts combined is gonna make this Tillotson one awesome beast of an engine. That's right, man. So the important thing to note about the long block is that it does not ship with a flywheel, carburetor, exhaust, or coil. So you have to choose those for your needs. Anyway, what's first, man? Uh, first things first, we are gonna remove this head to port match the intake and the exhaust and do a little bit of polishing on the exhaust port. We're removing the head because we don't want a bunch of the trash going into the cylinder and compromising the engine. So let's remove this head. So we made it out to the new headquarters and we are ready to marry the 225 to the MB200, making it the MB225. I put down a fastest lap of 1 minute 17 seconds on our new Cars and Cameras Grand Prix uh, with the stock MB200. We're going to swap this engine on and see how much faster we can go. Alright, so one thing I noticed whenever I took this front drive of the torque converter off, it has some roller bearings in on the driver which gives you no creep at idle that's really cool yeah. yeah some of the others have a bronze or brass bushing which just as good i think and then other torque converters have no bushing which gives you a little bit of creep at idle so this was really cool man yeah All right, man, so the 196 has made its way off. You ready to fit the 225? Here we go. Huh. Huh. John. Yeah? We got a problem. Well, we also have a couple of different headers to choose from. Okay, well, good. Did we, uh, did we, uh... Bring them? Did we bring them? <laughs> the one. And did we do the port matching on the other ones? I did one other one. You did one under other one. Okay. Dang it. So, how's it looking, man? Well, apart from uh, the exhaust not fitting, uh, not bad. Ooh. We could have the exhaust exit on that side. Yep. If we cut a wedge here and just kind of straighten it up so to a certain extent, we can we can use this pipe and just exit out that way somewhere. That sounds good. But the issue is we don't have a welder here. In fact, we have, I don't know, about 230 feet of extension cords running from one outlet from the house because there's no power out here. <laughs> so we're going to run to Harbor Freight and buy um, like a $150 uh, gasless welder that I used at Busco Beach at our last meet um, to, to fix the Yerf dog and it worked like a champ. So we're going to go out and buy a cheap welder and uh, cut this pipe, bend it, weld it up, we'll be ready to ride. So before we run to get a welder, we're going to do everything we can do 
just so we can grab all the parts in one fell swoop. Important thing to note here is the crankshaft on this Tillotson is about a half an inch shorter than the uh, crankshaft on the Jang Dong. Dong. So I am running into some issues with this factory torque converter. We're supposed to be putting a juggernaut on it, <laughs> but we I left forgot. the juggernaut at home. And, yeah. Is that a different thread? I think it's a different thread. All right, so we uh, made a run to the local Harbor Freight, <laughs> and uh, we're checking out their $180 welder through about 200 feet of extension cords because it's raining outside, and this is our only option. Should we even admit to doing that? Don't do this at home. Don't or do what we do. Elsewhere. Do what we say not to do. That'll work? Sure. Yeah. We don't recommend this. I brought my welding coat. You think it's gonna look like a rave in here when you uh Oh yeah the lights are gonna start blinking and it's gonna just go nuts. I hope everything will be alright. Not really man. Alright so that worked about as well as we thought it would. We're gonna take it over to the house, plug it in directly into the wall, and give that a shot. blow a hole in it. <laughs> mm. Is that you modulating the, uh, or is it still cutting out? Mm. All right, man, what's the, what's the verdict? Um, I mean, I wouldn't want to be seen out in public with this. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um, it's, it seems like a good welder to patch you up. And get you by. And get, get you, you by. back to camp, sure. But, uh, I'm not sure if I want, I would want to do a hundred mile endurance race with this. All right, so we're going to have to redo it at some point. I think so. That's safe. But for testing purposes, I think it'll work just great. Getting into this shop has uh, really made me feel like we're back at our roots. Yeah, dude. 200 foot drop cords, gasless welding, having to run to the store every 30 minutes because we don't have a tool. Yeah. Good times. Yep. Dude, I think I like where it's at. I think we might have a little bit of a issue with heat in our fender, but we can either trim out or let the heat just kind of let it sag. Race bike, dude. Yeah. Race bike. All right, man. I think we're ready to go. Who's first? Uh, you first, man. Oh, really? I, yeah, I'm more than happy to give it to you, buddy. <laughs> so, it's going to be a little bit janky just for this first test drive. <laughs> We're running out of daylight and don't have time to go get bolts uh, for the torque converter cover. Of course, you know, the header is welded with a very cheap welder. And also, we're almost tripling the power output of this, of this bike. We went from 6 horse to 17. So... And the conditions are wet. And it's very wet out there. Man. Dang. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Man. 
man, it is slicker than gorilla snot out there. Really? Yeah. Well, you want to get a semi-hot lap in now and then do another one when it's dry? Because yeah. it's not it's not even going to be comparable. This is not the... Dude, if I even get close to the first time, we will be doing awesome. But I don't even think we can do it. I can't even open this thing up. Get set, go. It's a 128.72, so it is very much slower. I don't think that's bad for a wet lap. Yeah, it's a lot slower, but I mean, you gotta think we are extremely traction limited. Warm up lap, right? Warm up lap. <laughs> My prediction is uh, John's gonna lay it down. Although he's pretty good about not doing that, but I don't know. John does not need a hot lap. No? Huh? No. That was enough? I've never drifted a mini bike before. Today. I know. It's crazy. I was doing it too. All it is is spinning. Yeah. That's it. Maybe when you get to like 30 miles an hour it stops, but Yeah, well that. your your time was 139.39? You were like a one you were like a you're like a one 127 or something? I don't know. Yeah. One, one, 130, 127, 128, yeah. something like that. I, and that wasn't even your hot lap. You're probably faster than me. No, I don't care to find out, <laughs> dude. I'm straight up done right now. So we're going to just have to check this out on a, a better day. Absolutely. When it dries out, also, we need to maybe modify or make a new intake because I can't get my right foot on that foot. On the peg. That is, like, critical. Yes. Uh, so, but beyond that, holy horsepower. And, like, when we put a juggernaut on this thing, dude, it's going to pick up more top speed. Uh, we're, we'll do a top speed run before and after juggernaut. Not today because it's so darn wet. This is a wicked mini bike. All yeah. we did is swap the engine. Yeah. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Cars and Cameras Reviews. Also, I mean, thank you again for all your years of support for allowing us to go out and make our dreams happen, dude. Yeah. This is our playground. It needs a ton of work. It's rough around the edges, but it's ours. I love it. Me too. So, of course, we have to thank our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com, for the Tillotson 225. For the mini bike, the Trailmaster MB200, check out links to these parts in the description of this video and come to the... Uh, Oregon Mini Bike Gambler 500 Endurance Race. You can find a link to that event in the, in the description of this video. That's probably the only time this year we'll be out on the West Coast. So if you want to come hang out, we will see you there. All right, Ike, can you want to lead us out? Sure. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. All right.